Welcome to Hit The Zone. I'm here with Matt from Red Zone X. Matt, today we're gonna to work on your triceps, which is a very important muscle. Yes, it is. So tell me about the tricep. So we're gonna train some triceps today. We're gonna to do three different moves. A lot of people might not know, but there is three parts to the tricep. That's why the word is tricep. Okay. Two for three, like biceps got two. Two okay. hands. So I'm gonna show you three different moves today, and we're gonna go over um, how many sets, how many reps, and we're gonna go over different angles to basically train your tricep in a full routine. Okay, so this is the first one? Yeah, so the first one I wanna do is just gonna be a straight arm push down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna step back far enough that the weights aren't touching at the top, and you're gonna bring your elbow directly in line with your torso. So right about there. So okay. now all you're gonna do, so extend for me, do it how you normally would, just like that. So what we're trying to do here is work the back side of the arm. So what Jan's trying to do is she's trying to keep that elbow back behind the torso so that she can get a maximum squeeze at the top to fully shorten that muscle at the top. And it's easy to cheat this because you could do this. Yeah, if the elbows start to drift forward, all you're really doing is using momentum to use this. So you can even bend your knees and lean forward a tiny bit. Now she's gonna bring her elbows back and now she's gonna squeeze my finger at the top. That way she squeezes the bicep so that tricep gets fully lengthened and then we want it to fully shorten at the back. So keep going, lean forward a little bit. So here. how many of these should people be doing? So for the tricep, um, I like to work anywhere like between 10 and 15 reps for this one. <laughs> oh. So it's pretty broad, but I would like one, one day I might train, you know, 10 to 12 reps. The next day I might be a little higher. Maybe it's um, around 15 to 20. And then every time you come to the tricep, you're good. You can <laughs> kind of switch the repetitions around. And you should feel it when you're doing it. You shouldn't go so light that you're not feeling it. You should, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So for you, um, that is probably a little light because you can talk to me when you're doing that. You <laughs> want to make it hard enough that you're exerting and it's a little tough. Okay. Okay? All right. So that's going to be the straight arm push down. Then I'm going to do something called a decline skull crusher with you. So we're going to use a different, basically a different bar. So it's curved. So now all that does is it changes her elbow and her hand position when she's going to do this. So she's okay. going to tuck her feet in. Okay, she's gonna lay down. She's gonna grab the bar, and the bar is gonna roll a little bit. Right there. So what she's gonna wanna do, stay at the top for me, Jen. She's gonna wanna keep her elbows in. This bar is gonna come down towards the forehead, like that. She's gonna hold the breath, push, and she's gonna breathe out at the top. So what happens is, these elbows are gonna wanna flare out to the side, usually, and what she's gonna do is squeeze and keep them as tight to the body as we can, but without shrugging the shoulders. So there we go. So up to the top. Now she's gonna come down nice and slow. And don't hit yourself in the head. Don't hit yourself in the head. So usually what happens is some people might use too heavy of a weight and they can't actually get all the way down. So you want a nice full range of motion because again, when we're working the tricep, we want to fully shorten and fully lengthen. So that would be fully lengthened at the bottom and fully shortened at the top. So how many of these should I be doing? I would do, again, same idea, between 10 to 15. So anywhere in that range is good. And compared to the straight bar, you might be able to use a little bit heavier of a weight on the straight bar than you would on this because of that decline angle, right? So it's putting more pressure into the tricep. And you should feel these, which I do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we're gonna do one more. All the way up, breathe out, good. Okay, Matt, what's the third move for your tricep? We're, for the third one, we're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. So we're gonna need a rope attachment and then that pulley is gonna to have to be at the bottom as opposed to at the top like it was for the straight bar. Okay. That's gonna be the next one. All right, so. Okay, so you're gonna grab it. Two hands, you're gonna take it and spin around. So now she's got the hands on top of her head. What she's gonna to wanna to do, yeah, slightly lean forward, Jen. A little bit, and then see how her elbows are already flaring a little bit? She wants to try her best to tuck them in. She might not get them directly against her ears, but this is a pretty good position here to start. So you're gonna go ahead and extend. So that's the short position. You come all the way down. Good. Oh. <laughs> Hard, eh? Yeah. You so this is going to challenge her, her abs a little bit as well because she's trying to fight that weight pulling her back down. So it's going to put a little bit more pressure in that tricep, as I'm sure you can feel. So am I still, you still do just as many with these? Cause... You do, yeah. You do. So 10 to, 10 to 15 reps. So you're going to come all the way down. Make sure her bicep squeezes at the bottom. That way she's working full range of motion here. So all the way down, all the way up. Breathe out. There we go, you're gonna give me one more, Jen. And extending to the top. Okay, that was the hardest one. Yeah, that's why it's the last one. 
Okay. Right? So let's go over the three that we did. Yep. So the first one was? Straight bar, push so down. Push down. Okay, and the second one was the? Decline skull crusher with the easy curl bar. Right. Right. And then the last one was the? Hardest one. Yeah, the yeah. hardest one. Overhead tricep extension. Okay, perfect. Matt, thanks so much. No problem. If you'd like to see any of these moves again, you can head to our YouTube site and we'll, we'll be back with more of Hit The Zone. Thank you.